Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of today's video, I will show you where you can access even more video lessons to help you build your confidence when it comes to math. The focus this week is, drum roll. Forgot what I was gonna say, let's try that again. The focus this week is, drum roll. Matching item, one of my favorites. So let's not waste any more time, let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here's your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this matching item problem on your own. Then when you're ready, come on back and we'll see how you did. Okay, fourth grade, welcome back. So it says to match each expression. If you notice down here, these are expressions because they have no equal sign present. We're considering the part that does not contain an equal sign. So match each expression on the left with the equivalent. What does equivalent mean? Equal, right? With the equivalent decimal numbers. We've got these decimal numbers right here. All right. So looks like we are adding and subtracting and adding numbers with decimals. And we know that when we add or subtract numbers with decimals, we need to make sure that we line them up, line up those decimal points, okay? So I'm just gonna scroll down just a little bit to give myself some room down here. And we'll start with this one. We've got eight and 74 hundredths plus, if I were going to line these up, I would put the decimal point right here and then just start lining up my values. Okay, so four plus one is five. Seven tenths plus four tenths is 11 tenths. Don't forget to bring down your decimal, that's right. And then one hole plus eight holes equals nine holes. So the value that we have here, read it with me, it's nine and 15 what? hundredths. Do you see that value in the columns? Yeah, it's right over here, right? So what we're going to do is just check this box because really we're just scanning over in the column we just worked at to pick the answer that we want. Oh, I'm going to change my color to red for this next one. We have 16 and 23 hundredths minus eight and six tenths. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just line up my decimals now and write my values here. And I know that right underneath that three, there's nothing there. So I'm gonna hold that place with a zero. All right, three minus zero hundredths is three hundredths, two tenths minus six tenths. What do we need to do? Regroup, right? So we'll take one here and give that here. So now we have 12 tenths minus six tenths, which is what? Six tenths. Bring down our decimal. Oh, I forgot to take the one up there. That should have been five, sorry about that. And now five holes minus eight holes. What do we need to do? Regroup, right? Let's take one from here, take a 10. Now we have zero tens. And we'll give that 10 right here. So now we have 15 ones minus eight ones, which is what? Seven ones. All right, read it with me. We have seven and 63 hundredths, right? And do you see that? Yep, right here in this one. So let me go ahead and check that one. So I'm just showing you how to scan it with your eyes to go across with your eyes and, and select the equivalent decimal number. All right, let's change up the color. Let's do purple. For this final one, we have 19 and 27 hundredths plus, let's make sure we line up our decimals. We have five, zero, five. Five and five hundredths. So seven hundredths plus five hundredths is 12 hundredths, good. 
one tenth plus two tenths is three tenths. Bring down our decimal. Nine ones plus five ones is 14 ones. Ooh, it's high up here, nice landing dude. And one ten plus one ten is two tens. So we have 24 and 32 hundredths. When we scan that across, shoop, it's right there. So we can go ahead and select that one just like that. And that is how you could show your journey on paper to show how you solve this problem. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to, to copy down any more notes that you still need to record on your page. And then when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to put in the practice and you've got to make sure that you are throwing down your very best effort. I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye!